Hey, make sure for your next event you get Karen. Not only did she take care of us at the Texas Fairs and Festivals, but Karen rocks. She rocked. She hit it right on the head. And my husband and I were sitting there and we were kind of poking each other and going, uh-huh, we told you. That's exactly what the kids have been saying. And, and we knew we could just feel it. And so it was really an awesome ending to our conference. Mucho gusto estar aquí con ella. Gracias. Well, right now, don't call too many people because they're not answering. Right now, the telephone's kind of, um, it's kind of put aside. We have to learn other ways. We're going to get the telephone back because it's a good tool. But right now, we're not using the phone as much. Is anybody noticing that no one's answering? Yeah. How about, how about your kids? Do your kids ever answer the call? Never. Sometimes I text my kids, answer the phone. Right. <laughs> email. Anybody email here? Email. Yeah, we're not even looking at email anymore. Too many emails. We're, they're kind of falling through the cracks. Texting. How many text? Oh, not too many. Start texting. We can't have big conversations, but texting is really a very, very, right now, it's a tool that a lot of people are using. But there's more. There's more. There's Skype. There's Facebook. You've got to be open to ways people are communicating. Flickr, SlideShare, Foursquare. There's all different ways that we're communicating now. They're tools. And they're using Foursquare. And Foursquare is telling people where they are. It rocks. And they're sending that message out to all of their friends. So for you, tap into your younger workers, your younger volunteers, your employees, your family members, start to understand the power of social media because you're fun. You're exciting. You've got great talent and skills. And you've got people coming in that we want to see. The best way to spread what you all do is through social media. We love to spread fun things on social media. So we're going to begin to now open up and start using your younger people to teach you a little bit about the power of even Foursquare because we're into Generation Y. Generation Y. Well, like, why? Why didn't I get a raise? I've been here two weeks. <laughs> right? Right? Gen X, when you were born, we loved you, but we were busy. We put you in a little umbrella stroller. Anybody remember those umbrellas? They like, we, we threw you in there and we pinched you, but it was tiny. We could, we could go real fast through the aisles and we threw it in the back of the car. When Gen Y was born, the baby was born. We buy designer buggies. Designer strollers, we put signs in the back of our car. Baby on board. Precious cargo in here. Get away, you're near my baby. The baby is now the center of the family. When Gen X had a problem, they called the school counselor. The school counselor had no idea who you were. You just got a detention. Now, little Gen Y, Gen Z, they call mom and dad. There's a problem at school. It's mom, dad, the kid, the lawyer. They all go to school. There's the teacher, the principal, the school nurse, the speech therapist, the art therapist, and the little child is looking at all these people that are there just for them. They're hard. They're hard in the workplace. They're hard to manage. Why? Well, well their expectations of work are not the same as yours, nose to the grindstone. They don't even know what a grindstone is. But they're optimistic. They're diverse. They're technology proficient. They are eager to learn, okay? They are socially conscious. They are team oriented. They're ambitious. And here's the corker. They are the largest group of consumers since the baby boomer. And this is where if you come in. These are your customers, many of them. This is the largest group of consumers. We have to understand how they tick. We have to understand what they want. We have to begin to actually listen to them and when we bring them into our workplace and our culture, they have to listen to us. And this is where sometimes people get frustrated because you don't believe that you're supposed to be teaching them because we never taught Gen X. They just learned on the job training. We never taught the baby boomer on the job training. We have to teach them. We have to teach them how to answer the phone we call. It's important. You click this button, you say hello. We have to show them that we're laughing, but the younger they get, they don't know. They don't know some of the things that we take for granted because many of us as parents did everything for them. No child left behind, right? And so everyone's a winner. Everyone was playing soccer here in Texas. It's so hot. Those little kids are out there playing soccer in August and a mom is sitting there going, look at them. Bless their little hearts. They should get a trophy just for coming to practice, I think. <laughs> Right, let's just get everybody juice boxes. Really, we don't care how much they cost. 
these little cookies. Let's get them little cookies. With, you know the kind that have the cute frosting on them? Yeah, remember what kind of cookie you got? Sandy, the, the, little, the little elf in the bag, remember? Now we get bakery designer cookies for them. These children are special. If it's too hard in the, in the morning, if the first day of work or the first week you make it too hard, they're gonna quit at lunch. You cannot make it really hard in the beginning, okay? So sometimes people sit you down, we're gonna tell you everything about the company. No, you have to keep things secret. Because I mean, I have people call me, okay, they quit at lunch. I get this call all the time. We want them to stay a full day. Now, <laughs> some of them, this is kind of interesting, some of them, it's like 11 o'clock, and who do they call? They call their mom. Mom, this job is really hard. I can't believe what they're making me do. What do you think the mom's saying on the other end? You quit that job. There's better jobs out there for you. So it's not always their fault, right, Mom? You knew that one, Mom. Okay. And they're changing the way we do business in the world and the way we communicate. And I think that this is so key. We can laugh. I love them. I have more Gen Ys working for me right now because they're teaching me every day. I am really good right now on Facebook. I am getting, I'm getting 20% of my bookings from Twitter. I can't believe it because I'm in the marketing business. Some of you might want to look into this. Some of you might want to take the younger people that you have working for you, give them projects, have them look into how we can connect more through social media, how we can tell people that we're in their community, in their town, how we can get people to our events and our fairs. I think it's worth taking a peek at because they know things about technology that we have no idea. They want to be engaged, they want to find meaning in their work, and they want to have fun. They want to smile.